Okay, let's open your technique book now and turn to page 20. This has an exercise for the left hand that's called walking the thumb. And this is a good exercise. One of the things about our thumbs is that it's very easy for them because of the way they're situated that they can play louder than the other fingers. It's just easy to put a lot of weight into our thumb because it's a at a different angle than the other fingers. And so we have to be careful as piano players to make sure, first of all, that we're playing on our thumb in the correct position. And where that is, is you should be playing here on the part of your thumb by the fingernail. So you don't play down here by your joint, you don't play here, but you want to be, if you're playing right there by your fingernail, then you should be able to keep a nice rounded hand shape. If this is something that you need to see a visual of, there's a picture of this at the beginning. Remember there, at the beginning of the technique book, they have those four things. We started with the heavy wet ropes and the, um, the finger O's and that kind of thing. So it's on page five in case you need to see. It's called the thumb perch in there. But, and it'll show you a, a picture of that. But if you're, if you're thinking about playing right here by, the, by your thumbnail, that's the correct position. And so when you're playing this exercise, I know I'm showing it to you with my right hand, but um, the idea is to try, not, try to make each of those notes sound equal. So you don't want the first one with the thumb to be sounding heavy. But the idea is to try to control how much weight you're putting into that and trying to make it even. So let me show you with my left hand. Let's see an angle that you can see the thumb perch. Oh, this is testing my camera skills. Okay, so here we go. And this is one of those pattern things. So you're just gonna be moving your thumb down to the next note and keep the pattern going. It's just a stepping pattern. and go to the next note. See how I'm keeping my rounded hand shape? And so forth and so on. It's one of those that you're going to keep going until you get to the, the next C. But the idea is to have that beautiful rounded hand shape and playing on the correct position on your thumb. And after you practice it a little bit, you might want to ask your mom to come and check you and just see if your hand looks like it's, if your thumb is in the right place and your hand is staying nice and rounded. So that's in your technique book. And then I'd also like you to work on a song in your performance book. This is another one of my favorite ones in the performance, and it's called The Opposite Song. Again, I'd like you to write on the little lines what the names of the starting notes are. And I'll just tell you that this has got your music alphabet in it, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you'll notice that you're just going to step up, and then you'll step back down, and then you'll step up, and then the last two measures are where you're going to do something a little bit different. But for the rest of the song, it's just stepping up, making sure you hold half notes where you have half notes, and then stepping down. And... If you read the words along with it, it has a little riddle like what's the opposite of up. So it's just a really nice song and it has the, the part that I play along with your part, I think really adds a lot and it makes it sound very nice. So if you get a chance to try to play it with mom before you come to your lesson, uh, I think you might enjoy it. If you don't, that's okay. We're going to try to play it together when I see you. So a technique book, you're working on the thumb perch and then on the... Um, it's called technically Walking the Thumb, and then in the performance book, The Opposite Song.